then check this out. Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf. In this video we will talk about Tesla Cybertruck and I have found a reason why Tesla Cybertruck looks so weird. I know that many of you who will be watching this video guys, you will be Elon Musk supporters, you will be Tesla fans and don't get me wrong, I'm not hating in this video against Tesla, I'm just expressing my own opinion. It's already in community, opinions have split it into 50-50, there 50% of people like Tesla Cybertruck and 50% of people hates obviously you might hate this because it looks ugly it looks weird or ugly you can call it however you want but this car doesn't look like ordinary cars which we are used to see on the road where some fans of Tesla you could straight away jump in and you would say that let's like oh wait a minute this is the reason of Tesla why it actually looks so weird why this Cybertruck is so weird no guys this is not the reason it looks so weird because of totally different reason which I have found and I will be sharing this reason with you in this video. But let's start with speed. Elon Musk compared Tesla Cybertruck to Porsche 911. Now let's see, the, how does this uh, compare to uh, a Porsche 911? Okay, we're gonna give the Porsche a little bit of a head start. Yeah, this is a, this is a current, if you know anything about sports cars and if some car engineer have been looking at this comparison he had a laugh because guys sports cars has to have a low clearance this means the car's body has to be as low as possible to the ground that's why sports cars are lowered and me myself i'm a huge car enthusiast and i love cars i love sports cars i am interested in any new car which is coming out in the world but with this example when elon compared tesla cybertruck to porsche 911 i believe that this was not like fair comparison firstly it has electrical engine and porsche 911 has a simple engine however you couldn't say that uh, tesla have engine it has actually a motor which is not even an engine it works totally differently from standard engines which are powered by gasoline or petrol you call it however you want And obviously guys you understand that this car which you are seeing right now this will never ever be competitor to Porsche 911 or any other sports cars exactly because of reasons that clearance is too high and it has no aerodynamics at all and why I'm talking all the time why I'm mentioning this clearance and clearance is very important for sports cars to hold down to the ground exactly because of reason that wind is not going underneath the car so as in sports cars there is built aerodynamics which are mainly in body shape where here is no aerodynamics the fair front which is a shield which is the wind catcher and if there is no aerodynamics and if this car will get a small stone if it will be driving a huge speed it will turn around and as you know Cybertruck is very powerful it on it has this exoskeleton which is not breakable this means that if you will be in this box when it will be turning around in 300 kilometers an hour on highway you will feeling yourself like you are in in washing machine you can just imagine that this is the reason guys that this car is not made for high speeds and i don't even understand why he is like mentioning the 2.9 as we can see here on their site he's mentioning that this car is 2.9 seconds 200 kilometers why would you even need a truck with 2.9 seconds 200 kilometers which the, or 60 miles this is not needed guys only thing what would happen with this is that young people who has no experience in driving they would be killing themselves from this huge speed because this car is not made for sporty driving we all saw in presentation what happened with these armored glass uh, Franz could you try to break this glass please yeah sure yeah oh my fucking god well, maybe that was a little too hard. <laughs> and no, 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 guys, this is not what you think. I'm not laughing at this because I don't normally laugh at people failures or company failures as in this case Elon's failure. I have an issue with this because when I saw this, I understood this glass is supposed to be armored. My first thought was 
Are we preparing for war here? Or why would we even need armored car with armored windows, armored doors, armored body? And then I thought about safety issues, that this car is not actually safe, because me myself I have been in two burning cars in my life. I imagine that this car is fully electrical and if, normally if car is starting going on fire, it is not because your fuel tank is getting on fire, this is because of wires are getting on fire. And here was my main issue, there is some electrical fire, where wires get on fire I am not able to get out of this car and that was my main issue and people who are from outside of this car they are not able to help me they can't open this car you can see that this car doesn't have door handles and these door handles are opening only if the car has electricity and that electricity is working and these people will not be able to help me to break a glass so as I will not be able to break a glass from inside so I am pretty much trapped and I will be like in microwave that was my main issue according to this armor thing guys about this all safety I will not be able to get out of the car if something will happen to this car and people from outside will not be able to help me but now guys let's get into the designing why is this design is so ugly because obviously all of you who are singing people you understand that this car could be drawn by three-year-old person or three-year-old kid you can decide for yourself who could draw it but you don't need a lot of talent to draw this car if I would be comparing this car to something I would compare it to Lamborghini from 1970s as you can see here guys now on the screen this is pretty much the same design and Lamborghinis look the same only Lamborghinis has nicer shapes but why Tesla Cybertruck they couldn't do a good job and do a nice design of this truck as Elon is comparing and he was saying that look this truck is totally different it doesn't look like other trucks yes Elon and this is only because of one reason and that reason is stated on your website ultra hard 30x called Rolled stainless steel so this stainless steel from which tesla cybertruck is made it is 30 times more stronger than normal steel to make a car that has a good shape you would need a press machines but press machines are not made with such a powerful steel and that's the reason that all they could do is these bends i would say that elon was lying to everyone that this car was made on purpose like this i would say that this car was made exactly because of this reason that steel is 30 times stronger and it is not compatible with any press machines which are out there and that's why they only did the basic bends around it and you don't have to be a genius to understand it you can see that there is no shapes of this card at all this is pretty much a square box on wheels and this is only my opinion like I mentioned guys before don't take it personally if you are a Tesla fan because like I mentioned I am also a Tesla fan I like technology even this car has a good technology only I don't see the the reason for all these armor things they are pointless so as this old speed thing it is also pointless so now guys let's talk about another thing about draw which i am doing in my previous video which is dji osmo action draw and i will be doing a draw in my next video i hope i will make video in next three days i hopefully make next video in my in next three days but guys if you have watched this video so far if you will put in comments somewhere in your comment whatever you are commenting along with your comment also write 50 dollars and one of you who will write 50 dollars in your comment i will also do a 50 dollar draw also in my next video so guys i hope that you found this video useful and if you did leave a like share this video subscribe to my channel if you are new and see you in the next one Bye.